Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So as we grow stronger, we push ourselves harder. In the beginning of this journey that you may be on to try to better yourself, to conquer addiction, to conquer depression, to fight and manage PTSD, those types of things. You may have anxiety, the whole list of things that I've personally gone through, each one of those. I talk about stuff that I've gone through. You know, we start this journey off and it can feel very daunting and we can take small steps like a, like a long distance runner who starts off slow because they know they have so many laps to do. They pace themselves. But as the race goes on, they push themselves harder. A runner doesn't go slower towards the end of the race. They run as hard as they can. I did this to myself. Lots of people do this where they get a little bit further away from their problems. So they start a path of trying to better themselves. Maybe it's to try to better your physical body. Maybe it's trying to better your mind. Maybe you're trying to add more character and, you know, work on your soul. Maybe you're doing all three like I had to do. And you can get a little bit further on that path and then feel like, wow, okay, I'm at a point where I can manage my life better. And you can feel very complacent about that work. It feels like, well, I don't really have to do that anymore. You do. In fact, it's like at the gym, as we grow stronger and as we work out and we put more weight on and we can manage that weight and what used to be the max weight that we could push now becomes our workout weight. You don't just stop. because You don't just slow down. Because if you plateau, you start to atrophy. You start to go backwards. You always have to keep pushing yourself further in the gym. So the stronger you get, the more struggle that you're welcoming. And that's how you grow. So it's like that with the path that we're on as far as bettering, or bettering ourselves mentally. It's the same as physical. The same as physical exercise. As we become stronger and as you get a little bit further away from your demons. That's not a comfort zone. That's not a time to become complacent. That's the time to start pushing yourself even harder. And realize, okay, I got this. Now it's time to step up my game. We have to be our own drill sergeants. We have to push ourselves because it can become really easy, say if you're trying to lose weight and you've lost 50 pounds and you're like, wow, look at me. And you have these before and afters that are just amazing. That's not the time to start becoming complacent and start having these cheat meals. Well, look all the weight I lost. I deserve two or three Big Macs. No. Because that's that cycle of one step forward, two steps back that people complain about. You always have to keep pushing yourself forward. So with your diet, just like with working out, when you become stronger with your diet, because a lot of your diet is mental, when you become stronger with your diet and better at eating, better at cooking, having better ingredients, eating better meals, you keep pushing yourself forward. There is no end to this lifestyle. You don't just reach the mountaintop and say, oh, well, I did it. Now I can be lazy. Because nobody is, who's successful is lazy. It's not how it works. That's a perception that people at the bottom have. They think it's so easy for those people that are doing it. But those people had to pay their dues. I know this in business because a lot of people look at, say, somebody who's successful in business and think, well, they don't really have to do much. Look how successful they are. Must be so easy for them. Must be so great. That guy's working twice as hard as you. He's doing your job and three other people's jobs every day. And then when you just punch out like Flint's, Fred, uh, Fred Flintstone and go to the bar... And forget about the, 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 how hard it was that you had to work your eight-hour shift. This guy's putting in 14 hours, 16 hours. 
He's going all the way till he can't stick till he can't stand it no more. And then putting it whatever he had to do on his plate until the, mo the next morning, getting four or five hours of sleep when you got 10 and you're in your bed so comfy. This motherfucker's already been up. So you can't say, oh, well, it's so easy for them. And with any business, when it grows, I used to have this fantasy that, well, when I get my business to a certain point, then I can just kind of be the boss and be out on the golf course. And uh, no, as business grows, the responsibility grows. With more money come more problems, more bills, more people to deal with, more, more heads to bop and keep them in line. It, it, it is never ending. And you have to ask yourself, do I really want success? Well, if you do, because no one's going to force you to be a better person. But if you want to be a better person, if you want to better yourself, you have to be willing to always be adding on to that struggle. The stronger you get, the faster you run, the more that you push yourself. So we don't just see that finish line and slow down, you know, like the tortoise and the hare. We think that we got this, we built our leg muscles up so strong, so huh, I could just have a burst of energy anytime I want, I guess, and I could just walk, and if I see my demons coming towards me, I can just run a little bit. It doesn't work that way, because before you know it, they're right on top of you. You can clean your house all you want, but you'll find the dust comes back. You got to stay on top of it. Cleaning your house is a never-ending cycle. You will always clean your house for the, the life of the home. For as long as you live in that house, you will always have to clean it. The people that don't live in filth. The people that don't clean up are miserable people. The people that don't clean up end up with houses that get broken down. These dilapidated shitholes. So you can create your home like a castle. You can live in a small one bedroom little shack on a mountainside and it could be a paradise. If you, if you treat it right, if you build it up right, if you maintain it right. And our mind is the same way, our body is the same way, and our soul is all, it's all the same kind of work. I read a couple books when I first start, went sober and I got into a, a spiritual path which really helped me become sober and I, I read a couple books and went to church a few times and I kind of got to a point where I was like, oh, well, I guess I got this. I put in a little bit of work towards that area of my life and there you go. <laughs> it wasn't enough and I found myself slipping into depression, becoming lost again like a lost sheep all over again. And when I found my path, my way again, I realized, oh, like being lost in the woods and you finally stumble back upon the right path. It'd be very exciting. It's not the end of the journey. You're just back on track. And I kind of kicked myself. I was like, man, I went a lot of years sliding backwards because I felt like I had seen the finish line and I just became lazy. And all those problems that I had done so well to outpace in the beginning of the race, well, they caught up because they're running hard and I wasn't. And the biggest lesson I learned with this lifestyle is that it never ends and that it's the, it's the journey that matters. It's the, it's the daily steps, those daily discipline that you take. I don't want to do this all the time. I don't want to wake up in the early in the morning and read. I don't want to be spending all this time trying to learn about philosophy and psychology. I don't want to be spending all this time in the gym. But life is a struggle. And you have to choose which struggle that you want. Do you want to sit in a doctor's office? Or do you want to be at the gym? Right? Do you want to be horribly depressed? And have to fight that every day? The gun in your mouth? Or do you want to put in a little bit of work towards your mental health and learn about psychology, learn about philosophy and try to internalize this stuff and to, you know, chase those demons down and, and slay them, befriend them, make them work for you instead of work against you. 
Both are the struggle. Both are going to be uncomfortable. But one path is towards greatness and the other one is towards death. Either way, you're going to have to fight. And that's, I think, the hardest part that people have in their head is that they just don't feel strong enough for the fight. They wish that things could be easier. They feel like it, like it looks so easy for you. Why can't it just, I just be like you? But they're not realizing the work that you put in. The daily struggles that you have to go through just to maintain. So you don't slide back two steps. And it doesn't get easier. You get more used to it. You get more strength in you. It's like being in a hot tub. When you first get in the hot tub, man, that water's hot. You barely put your foot in there and you're like, ah, goddamn. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get in. After you put your ankle in and your knee in and you get used to it, you sit in there for 30 minutes or so, it's a long time in a hot tub, it doesn't even feel that hot anymore. If you ever sit in a hot tub for too long, where your f fingers get all wrinkly, you notice that, wow, I, w I wish I could turn the temperature up a little bit. Like being in the bathtub. Add a little bit more hot water. You can take it. You get used to it. The water doesn't get any less cold. The water's got a heater in the hot tub. It's staying at a constant temperature. You've gotten used to it. What was painful in the beginning is no longer painful, and that's not the time to become complacent because then eventually you'll feel like you're sitting in a tub of cold water. So keep adding things to your, to your plate. Add more good meals to your diet. Add more weight onto those bars that you're lifting. Add more reading. Add more thinking, more meditation, mind, body, and soul every day, 365. Do you want to be the guy at the front of the pack or the guy at the back? Because you're going to run. You're not getting around it. You're going to run. And it just depends on where you want to be. You want to be at the front or the back. Thanks for watching.